Hey, what's going on YouTube? My name is James and welcome back to another video. So I'm recording this on the same day I recorded the last one just because of time management and all that kind of stuff. I'm trying to get a few things done. Um, so I hope you don't mind that I'm wearing the same clothes and all that kind of stuff. But I have swapped watches for the video. So, you know, be grateful I've done that. Um, but today we're going to be taking a look at the Alpha and um, going over how these past two months with it have been. It's been two months with it already, which is crazy. Um, if you haven't seen my unboxing, go check that out. And if you haven't seen my full in-depth review, definitely go check that out as, out as well. Um, it was a very short review to the point and covered all the top, um, all the points and people really appreciated that. So definitely go check it out. But anyway, today, two months. Uh, by the time you're watching this, it'll be like two and a half months with the Alpha. It's still running to the surprise of probably a lot of you. It's still running. Um, I think Alpha has this negative... Um, view in a, in a lot of people's eyes in the watch community of being this cheap homage company and they are they are a cheap homage company um and having terrible quality which some of them do and breaking after not long uh which again some of them do i've experienced them um but this this one's still running perfectly fine i feel like alpha have definitely upped their quality in recent years um, by a lot i had an alpha submariner in the past which was from like 2014 um, that was like okay it was not great it was not terrible it was okay um, I had a alpha yacht master which I had for like two days because I sent it back to the person I bought it off on eBay um, it was dreadful like it was truly dreadful and I think that one was from like 2012 or something worst watch one of the worst watches I've ever experienced it was that bad um, so you know I've definitely had the spectrums but I think the modern day stuff is on another level um, Compared to their old stuff, obviously compared to other watches, you know, they're still pretty bad. Um, but compared to their old stuff, they're very, very good. They've uh, recently released the Alpha um, Speed Speedmaster or whatever you call it. Yeah, the Speedmaster, um, which is obviously a homage to the, the Omega, the Man on the Moon. Um, they've done a homage to that with a black doll and a white doll. I'm very interested in picking one of these up for review, not to keep. Um, if any of you guys own one, let me know. I'd love to get my hands on it to review and I don't want to pay the full price of 125 or whatever it is. So I'm going to be keeping an eye out on eBay and see if I can pick one up second hand for like 60, 70 quid or something great, which would be perfect. Um, so that's the plans when it comes to Alpha. I definitely want to get a few more into review, maybe like the Alpha Explorer and just see what their quality is like around the board now um, and see whether it holds up. Because based on this, I am incredibly impressed for the price. It's using the seagull movement um, as I covered in the review and it's just it's a workhorse it really is working like really well um, timekeeping still on point like I'm, I'm having to so I keep it wound most of the time because I wear it quite a lot um, and I have to say like I'm changing the the time probably once a week and that's it like so it's not the best and it's not the worst either especially for what did I pay for it like 120 130 I think for that price getting an auto, getting a manual wound chronograph movement um yes it's only a 30 minute totalizer but still you know the look of it and everything is is just great now in terms of um the bracelet i have swapped it out to the um watch gecko bracelet and i haven't taken it off this since uh, the alpha one is just in the pouch that it came in and i'm just not i'm never going to touch that again it's damn awful um a few people have asked like how why why is it so bad you know they've got it and it's not that bad and all this kind of stuff the clasp is terrible for one and um, the, the links themselves feel really hollow in my opinion. Now, if you watch my review, I said about how I can't wait for this watch to get old and scratched and beaten up so it will look like the, the vintage Rolex Paul Newman, which is obviously why it's homage to. Um, I've not really beaten it up much, to be honest, and I've just not been, I've not been careful with it, that's for sure. I've bashed it against things, and to be honest, it's not scratched, um, which is really annoying because I want it to, but it just goes to show that it's holding up pretty well. Obviously, it's got a uh, plexiglass or acrylic crystal, uh, which has got a fair few scratches on now um, in one corner where I've bashed it against the table and stuff. And it's looking good. It's still very, you can't even see them. Like, it's only in certain lights that you can see them scratches. So, overall, the watch is holding up very, very well. A bit too well. I want it to get scratched and beaten up already, and it's just not. So, yeah, overall, I'm still incredibly impressed with the quality of this watch. It's only been two months, so I will do another update after six months and an update after a year. And I will be honest with you guys, if things start going wrong, I will uh, show you my process of getting it like, sent off to repair or whatever. And hopefully get it back working. 
um, there's been a lot of reports of people saying to Alpha, you know, my watch is broke, it's within warranty, can you fix it? And they just never ever get back. So hopefully I don't have an experience like that. Um, but if I do, I'll be honest with you guys and tell you never to go with Alpha because they are shit. So <laughs> yeah, but overall, very impressed. If you guys own this watch or any Alphas at all, let me know your experiences down below. Share your experiences with everyone else because if you've had a terrible experience, please share it. I want people to also know um, the good, the bad and the ugly because there definitely is good, there definitely is bad and there definitely is ugly. In terms of the crown, it's still obviously very horrible. Uh, you gotta be careful screwing it in. Uh, what I found is if you screw backwards and then push forwards and screw in the crown, it seems to do fine. The pushes are still working great and the chronograph is, um, is in, uh, amazing. I've left it running for like 13 hours before and it's still just been fine. Like I left it running overnight, everything's fine. It's just not, there's nothing to worry about with it. With it. I think the movement is fine. I think the movement is completely fine and that's one thing a lot of people said there's going to be problems with um so far touch wood it's all been good and hopefully it continues that way but anyway thank you for watching i just wanted to do a quick update on my experience with the alpha so i will see you all in the next video which will hopefully be a review of my custom rivolo watch because i had the the new bracelet and the new case back sent so fingers crossed i get all that done soon but anyway thank you for watching see you on the next one take care peace out